Enjoy watching. Pictured on $10 and $100 bills, Alexander Hamilton and Benjamin Franklin were never presidents of the United States. The oldest soup discovered dates back to 600 BC, the main ingredient of this soup is hippopotamus meat. Gerbil mice can smell adrenaline, which is why they are kept by airport security to spot and save people. A story related to the wedding got into the Guinness Book. The biggest difference in age and marriage was a couple from Malaysia. The wife is 22 years old and the husband is 105 years old. The color blue has a calming effect. When a person sees the color blue, his brain produces calming hormones. Ancient Egyptians slept on stone pillows. The Goliath tarantula is the largest spider in the world. It is able to hunt frogs, toads, lizards, mice, and even small snakes. Men's shirts have buttons on the right, women's on the left. Mendeleev had a C grade at school. Until 1850, for one or two millennia, the temperature remained relatively stable, but at the beginning of the 20th century, the average air temperature increased by 0.74 degrees Celsius. Chewing gum contains rubber. Your left lung is smaller than your right because it shares space with your heart. The oldest ocean is the Pacific Ocean, about 200 million years old. Most of the water is in the sun there is water in the form of steam. The owl is the only bird that uses the upper eyelid to blink, all other birds use the lower eyelid. The Romans had public toilets, which were long marble benches with holes in the toilet paper, so there was no stick with a sponge on the end, but these sticks were common. If you are not thirsty, you urgently need to drink water when the human body is dehydrated, the mechanism responsible for thirst is turned off. In the old days, kalachi was baked with a handle resembling a bagel, it was customary to eat kalak by holding the handle, and after eating the handle, throw it away or give it to the poor, hence the expression went to reach the handle. Before the introduction of the Tugrik in 195, the national currency of Mongolia was the dollar. Once upon a time, we humans foraged mountains high and valleys low in order to appease our rumbling tummies. These days, all we need worry about this scavenging the aisles of Walmart, and while that can be just as wild at times, you can bet that all the food in grocery store is safe to eat, right? Well, uh, let's just say that this video will give you a lot of food for thought. Take this for example. Have you ever noticed a weird wild spot on your banana? Well, I sincerely hope not, as the truth about this white spot and the other horrifying food-based revelations we have got in store will truly make your skin crawl. So what are these strange little mounds, and why should you be concerned? Well, these little white growths are actually the nests of spiders, and not just any spider, the Brazilian wandering spider, Aka the world's most venomous. Their bite is so toxic that it instantly attacks the nervous system, causing nausea, blurred vision, excruciating pain, and ultimately, death. Rarely will you find them outside of their South American homeland, but due to their love of hiding in dark, moist places, they occasionally smuggle themselves between bananas, where they make the journeys from the tropical regions they're harvested into your local grocery store and eventually, your home. In fact, in 2013, a British family had to evacuate their London home, as dozens of the deadly spiders sprouted from their bananas. 29-year-old Concy Taylor was midway through eating a banana when she spotted a suspicious white spot on the fruit. Mold, she initially assumed, but on closer inspection, she was horrified to see tiny spiders dropping out onto the table and scurrying around. The tailor fled to safely and had their home fumigated of these deadly spiderlings. Luckily, even in their natural habitat, only one in 500 spiderlings of this species make it to adulthood, and their fangs aren't strong enough to pierce human flesh until the mature, meaning any real danger was fairly unlikely. Still, I don't think El had have peace of mind until I knew each and every one of the little eight-legged lurkers were disposed of. Okay, so finding a nest of baby spiders is scary, sure. But imagine finding a more developed Brazilian wandering spider along for the journey. Well, this horror story became a reality for a Staten Island family in 2016, as they returned from the grocery store with a little more than they had bargained for. I'll let you see for yourself. If that were me, then let's just say this spider would be very flat and stuck on the bottom of my shoe. The breed of this grizzly spider is unconfirmed, 
though being from South America, it's likely one of those venomous Brazilian wandering spiders, seemingly the only one of its brood that reached adolescence in its little egg sac apartment. Considering the bite from one of these can ultimately lead to death, the only rational choice here would be to burn the banana and the house along with it, for good measure. And that's all the time we have for today, folks. If of this fact left you particularly grossed out, then let me know down in the comments and share your own if you have any. And as always, thanks for watching.